Hi guys. Can everybody hear me? Hello. It's not bringing your. Hold on a second. Oops. I go like this, and then like this. Huh? It's all of your messages are sideways. Hi guys. I have it landscape and it's not bringing everything on the on the messages on the side so all your messages are sideways hi let me try to flip this again okay that flip sideways yeah they're still sideways oh well hey guys how are you <laughs> sorry about that oh thank you I tried to put on my best face for you guys <laughs> Put on a little bit of makeup. I don't normally have makeup on at 10.30 at night, so. <laughs> hey, everybody. Just let everybody get online before I start. Hope everybody's doing well. Did everybody enjoy All Hell Breaks List? Thank you so much for sharing con videos. Oh, you're so welcome. That's one of my favorite parts about doing what I do is the videos. Oh, thank you, darling. Well, I hope everything is okay. Well, I'll be talking about that very shortly. Very shortly. Thank you everyone for joining me. I appreciate it. I am... Oh no, you've been sick, Anita? Oh, I hope you feel better soon. Hey baby, hey Tress, how are you, honey? Love you, baby. Get to see a live periscope. Yes, you do. Here I am. <laughs> HBO was amazing. Gil and Chad and Misha. Yes, I I agree. I thought they were fantastic. I loved their panel the live tweets from their panels. Hey Bubbles, how are you, darling? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tris. That means a lot to me. Mm -hmm. It really does. Okay, I haven't even started and I'm already crying. Stop it. Okay. Alright, so. But I've, I've got my phone set up on my computer here. That's why I'm kind of hunched over a little bit. And uh, I'm going to be reading something. That um, kind of announcement for everybody. Uh Kind of talking a little bit about what I've been dealing with and what I've been going through. And what I need a little help with. Um, this has been in the planning stages for literally about at least nine months now. I've been trying to figure out a way to deal with a situation that I'm up against. And... Um, got some good friends I've been talking to with about this and um, over the past nine months we have come up with this kind of a last ditch only thing that we could think of to do kind of effort anyway um, now that everybody's here or at least probably as many as gonna join I'm gonna start reading this um, after I'm done reading it I'll take any questions that you have and um, then we're going to be posting the message in its entirety on Tumblr and Facebook and linking to it on Twitter because obviously I can't, it's too long to be able to, to put it even in four, four uh, pic picture clips. It, it, I still couldn't do it. <laughs> so I apologize. This is going to be a little bit long. So... Here we go. Um, let me scroll this up. Let me get my cursor where it needs to be. Okay. So, here we go. Wow, 50 people. God, okay. No, I'm not nervous at all. Not in the least. Okay, so here we go. So... Pardon me that I'm not looking at the camera, but looking at the screen so I can read it. 
and yes, I have it big enough that I can actually read it without my glasses on, so. <laughs> anyway, I'm stalling. I'm nervous. I apologize. <sighs> Alright, here we go. It starts like this. Um, can that, first of all, can everybody hear me alright? I want to make sure everybody can hear me. Okay. Alright, great. Thank you very much. Alright, here we go. Hi everyone. I hope you're all doing, all enjoying the con coverage and looking forward to SPN Phoenix this weekend as much as I am. I come to you today because I am in need of your help. I am not one to share too much about myself personally or my life offline. However, desperate times are calling for desperate measures. Damn it. As most of you know, I care for my elderly parents and it is a full-time job. What you don't know is that the three of us live on social security income designed for about one and a half people and unfortunately they burned through what little life savings they had long ago. Also, my parents' health is deteriorating rapidly. My mother is about 250 pounds, she has multiple sclerosis, she is diabetic, and has nearly 100% short-term memory loss. My father had surgery to replace part of his aorta four years ago, which res resulted in complications, including several strokes, that have left him with some aphasia, which means not being able to communicate the right word, and memory loss in addition to leaving him legally blind. He also has severe COPD. These issues are progressing as they age and they are beginning to be more than I can handle by myself and I fear that they will need a nursing home sooner rather than later. Which, by the way, I really, really don't want to see happen. Okay. Um. I share that with you to let you know that once that happens, what little money they receive will be going to the nursing home. And if I don't find some source of income before then, I will be left penniless and homeless. This is not an exaggeration. This is fact. And this is not an option I can live with again. Yes, again. I'm not going to go into too many details about this or what follows this other than to say that I am deeply embarrassed and ashamed of what I'm about to tell you. Not long ago I lived in a women's shelter for about nine months and although it could have been worse it was still one of the worst experiences of my life. If it weren't for what caused that to happen I would have called it the worst experience of my life. It was my children and Supernatural, the little show that could, that both gave me the will to live and showed me how, respectively. I literally would not have survived without them and I cannot and I will not live long enough to experience that again. But. I don't want to focus on that. Instead, I want to focus on what I need to do now in order to prevent that inevitability from happening. However, there is one thing standing in my way. Uh, sorry. That was tough. Um, I have a... I, uh, however, there is one thing standing in my way. I have a rather large debt that is preventing me from finding work or getting health insurance in order to apply for disability. Well, it's rather large to me because, frankly, anything other than utilities and living expenses is beyond our reach. However, the few people I have confided in have said that it is a reasonable amount to ask for, and I trust their judgment. This debt is also tied to a legal issue, so it comes up in any background check or any background search a potential employer would run. 
The result is a catch-22 situation where I need money to pay off the debt, but I can't earn money until the debt is paid. That's where I'm hoping my supernatural family may be willing to help. Unfortunately, I'm not artistic and I'm not as crafty as some of you are, so I don't have anything I could sell to you that would be of any value. All I have is what I do while covering cons. <laughs> Please know that although my team helps me a great deal in covering cons, they also know that I am the only one working on con coverage full time. And they all support my doing this. And they support having any and all donations go to me in order to pay off this debt. So I am hoping that if you appreciate what I do, and only if you are able to donate, you might be willing to make a donation to my tip jar, so to my quote-unquote tip jar, so to speak. I have found that GoFundMe and other similar sites take a good sized chunk out of fundraisers. So because I need every penny I can get, I have established a PayPal Me link where you can donate directly to my PayPal account free of any charges or fees. You will see this link in my profile description shortly after I post this message. This would be a strictly voluntary contribution. I will not change anything with regards to my con coverage, whether you do or do not donate. I understand that money is tight for many of you and that you follow me precisely because you cannot afford to go to cons. Because I am in this exact same position, that is precisely why I cover cons the way I do. So let me say to you, those people, that I appreciate you in every way possible. This is only for people that can afford to donate. A retweet means every bit as much to me as a donation, and I mean that. Now, Now, the only downside to using PayPal Me is that you cannot see whether or not a goal amount has been reached or even what the goal amount is. I have not mentioned what that amount is and I am so deeply embarrassed and ashamed by this, I'm not going to reveal exactly what how much it is needed other than to say it is approximately the amount needed to enjoy going to a con on a gold pass, including POs, autos, hotel, and travel. So y'all can infer from that what you think it might be. I would hope my reputation and the person that you have gotten to know will be sufficient to know beyond doubt that when the goal is reached, I will let you know. I will also state right now that I may keep the tip jar running afterwards at, as well in order to help with living expenses until I can find that source of income through work or qualifying for disability or both. But I promise to let you know what your tip will be going towards every step of the way and I hope the last two years have proven that I am a person you can trust when I give my word thank you very much for taking the time to listen to this it says read this but to listen to this <laughs> my apologies that it was so long as I said, I am not one to share too much of myself, and I tend to keep things pretty close to the vest. Therefore, I do not know how to do this concisely. <laughs> I feel extremely vulnerable right now, and hope you will take that into account when forming your opinion on my doing this. 
no doubt some will not like this. To those people, I say that I understand. I don't like doing it either. Though I'm sure that's for different reasons. But you may think I'm, I'm trying to capitalize on the work of others. And if you do, let me just say two things. A. I have spoken with two very well-known photographers and they are 100% in support of this and because they feel their pics were seen by more people had because of sharing them in our collections they believe others will be supportive of what I'm doing as well and B there is so much work that goes into doing this that no one ever sees. Y'all see the results of our work. You do not see the time it takes to organize who's doing what and when, contacting previous live tweeters to see if they'll be attending again, search after search after search on YouTube to make sure you get those videos as quickly as possible, and getting very little sleep and yet setting that alarm in order to wake up to do it all again. For those that understand that I'm doing this in order to move my life forward in a positive direction, to those that to those that get that I'm trying to change my life from stagnant to movement, to those that understand I would not be doing this if I could see any other way possible, and to those that may sympathize with the fear and anxiety I am feeling right now by exposing to light that which I have kept in shadow for so long and the vulnerability I feel in doing so and to those people I truly do not have the words to properly express how much your support means to me I deeply and sincerely appreciate you from the bottom of my heart Jared tells us to always keep fighting and this is me doing my best to do just that because as Jensen and Misha say I know I'm not alone thank you for your support and love and acceptance and understanding and I love you right back still so, that's me and that's it uh, sorry about that <laughs> I got a little emotional there for a while. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try to read your messages sideways. Thank you for your hugs. Thank you for your love. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you. Love you too, babe. Thank you. I'm reading up. I'm reading your messages. I'm sorry I'm not talking. I'm reading your messages. Thank you. Um, the person that asked me to DM you, I can't see who that was. I'm sorry. You'll have to tweet me. Oh, gosh. I can't read all this sideways. Thank you. Thank you for sharing on Facebook. We're going to be sharing this message. We're going to be posting this message on on Facebook and on Tumblr and through Tumblr t linking it to Twitter. Because you know how we post on Tumblr and we post the links on Twitter. That will be posted on there. So, so we're going to... Oh, also this message is going to be recorded and it will be um, uploaded to YouTube and so you'll be able to see that there along with all your messages that I'm gonna have to read when this is over <laughs> I'm sorry I have missed them <laughs> but gosh I'm afraid I probably would have just bawled through all of them anyway 
Thank you. Thank you very, very much. I can't believe there are 98 people watching me cry right now. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh, gosh. Thank you. Ah. Yeah, thank you. I forgot to get a tissue before I came over here. I should have. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I, I, I just sound like I'm on repeat now, but I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. It just... It really means the world to me. Anyway, I will have the PayPal me link. It's I can actually tell you what it is right now. Um, it is. Is it gonna make me log me in again? It's gonna make me log in again. Hold on. Log in. It's basically, oh, there it is. It's paypal.me forward slash cell 9800. So that is the PayPal me uh, link that will put donations directly into my PayPal, which is linked to my bank account. Um, I actually have a PayPal debit card, but I don't need that for this. This is going strictly and only for the debt. So once the amount is raised, I will be able to transfer it to my bank account in which I can then withdraw it to be able to pay the debt. Um, it has to be paid in cash, unfortunately. They won't take a uh, credit card. It has to be uh, a, a cash thing. So again, that is paypal.me slash forward slash still 9800 and I think that's about it can't believe so many people are watching this thank you guys I appreciate your support I appreciate your love I appreciate all your kind words it really means a lot to me and um, because this is going to go on YouTube, I'm not just going to go on and on and on and allow this to be as short as possible. Um, so I'm going to log off now and maybe I'll hop back on later um, after I cry my eyes out for a little while. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you guys. I, I'll see you on Twitter. I'll be there. I love you guys. There we go. And we're out. Mwah. I love you. Always keep fighting. You're not alone. None of us are alone. Do what you gotta do. That's all I can say. Just do what you gotta do. Keep fighting. Don't let it go. Until there's no options left. And don't even let it go then if you can help it. I love you. I'll talk with you soon. Mwah. All right, stop. <laughs>